In this tutorial, we are going through some of the examples to illustrate the inductive or the relation between the inductive effect and the asset strength. We have a set of hello assets here, and when they deprotonate, they give the corresponding conjugate basis. And we know that the more stable the conjugate base, the more stronger the corresponding acid. So we want to compare the stability of these conjugate bases to find out which acid is the strongest out of them. So if we look at these four compounds or these uh, four conjugate bases, we find out they, uh, th they are the same except uh, substituting a hydrogen of this terminal carbon with the corresponding halogen. And we can see that all these halogens have a negative I effect. And if we compare the negative I effect of all of these uh, halogens, we find out that uh, the trends increases in this direction. And this negative I effect parallels the electronegativity. So fluorine atom is the best or the strongest negative I group. And the iodide or the iodine atom is the least negative I group strongest and this is least so this negative charge which is distributed over those two oxygen uh, th those two oxygens sorry can be reduced by the uh, negative I effect of this fluorine atom the same applies for all other conjugate bases the halogen atoms has a polarization or a permanent polarization effect over the sigma bonds as we see and we know that the fluorine uh, fluorine atom is the um, is the best negative i group or the strongest negative i group so this conjugate base here will be more uh, will be more stable than all other conjugate bases so the order of decreasing acidity uh, as follows this is the strongest then that, then that, then this is the least one. What if we substituted this terminal carbon with more fluorine atoms or more negative I groups? We can see that the inductive effect increases with increasing the substitution with fluorine atoms or with, the, uh, we, with the increasing the number of the negative I groups as the three negative I groups will withdraw the, uh, the electrons over the sigma bonds toward them. So we can see that uh, here only one uh, negative I group so it will withdraw the electrons over the sigma bond but those three fluorine atoms or those three negative I groups will uh, will reduce or decrease this negative charge here better than in the, in the first or in this conjugate base. So this conjugate base is more stable than this one. So this acid is more stronger. A final comparison here, we want to find out which acid out of these is the most or uh, is more stronger. So we first uh, should compare the, uh, the stability or the relative stability of these conjugate bases here. So these conjugate bases are the same, except the, uh, the position of the negative I group, uh, which is the chlorine atom. Here the negative, or here the negative I group, yes, is attached with the, uh, the terminal carbon here, or the force carbon, one, two, three, four, and here the uh, this in this conjugate base the chlorine atom is attached uh, with the uh, third carbon and uh, the negative I group here attached uh, attached with the carbon or the attached with the second second carbon the inductive effect is clear or very clear here um, so uh, because it's uh, it's it's adja adjacent to the uh, negatively charged oxygen or the uh, or adjacent to the negative charge overall as this uh, negative charge is distributed over those two oxygens so um, 
the polarization of the sigma bond is clear here so it's it withdraw electrons more efficiently than in this case uh, here the chlorine atom is far away from is far not far away is far from the uh, the uh, the negative uh, negatively charged uh, oxygen or those two oxygens but this in this case the the chlorine atom here the chlorine atom here uh, withdraw electrons along the uh, along the sigma bonds but it's uh, it's far away from the uh, from the negative charge so we can see that this uh, this conjugate base is more stable than those uh, other conjugate bases so the order of decreasing acidity as follows this is the best uh, acid or this is the strong acid then uh, the second one then this is the least uh, the least strong acid so this is the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe